Hello my friends, we are going to make cow neck patterns. My name is Jean and welcome back to Pattern Studio 101. I post pattern making tutorials every week. The videos are very short and easy to digest. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. I'm going to show you how to make cow neck patterns today. When you wear cow neck blouse or dress, you see loose draped fabric around your neck. Sometimes it's on the front, sometimes it's on the back. There are various designs of cow neck. To draft a cow neck, you need front body patterns. If you start with your bodice block, then you might want to add some ease first and see the neck width is wide enough. If you start with your blouse pattern that already has wearing ease, then just check if you like the neck width and then you can start from there. One more thing, if your front body has dart, you know, side dart, shoulder dart, or waist dart, and you want to keep the dart, no problem. But if you want to remove the dart, then move the dart to the neckline. I'm going to show you. Here's a front body pattern. This had side dart. I'm going to find the apex and move the dart from side to the neck. You draw new dart legs to the apex and draw a line to the neck and close the side dart. If you have waist dart or shoulder dart, you can do the same way. And then draw a line from the underarm point to the neck opening. In this case, the neck is cut and opened already, so I can use this to open more. But if you didn't move the dart because you want to keep the dart or there is no dart on the blouse front pattern like this, then draw a line to the neck and cut like this. Back to my pattern. Keep the underarm point and open the neck. How much should the neck be opened? It depends on your design, but I'm going to open three inches and a half. So this opening amount is three inches and a half. Extend the center front line. We are going to draw a perpendicular line to the center front and it's going to meet the shoulder point. The pattern is done. True the line if you need. I made a side seam curve nice and smooth. This red line is your final line. Before you trace it out and add seam allowance, you might want to make attached facing to the neck. Then this straight neckline should be a fold line. Go up about 2 inches or 3 inches at the center front. I would go at the center of the shoulder. Draw the facing line. It's better not to have a seam at the neckline for the cowl neck so it falls nicely on your neck. Because the center front is folded, it's gonna be like this when you open. If you wanna learn any color patterns making, you can watch these videos. Have a beautiful week guys! See you next time!